Hello, you sexy chicken people. I am David Hooper from Art Chicken 101, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw this little rat fella from the trashy series, Smelly Mouse. Look at him, he's so cute, he's so green, and he has cheese, and kind of looks a little bit gross, but whatever, we're gonna draw him anyways, okay. <laughs> okay, enough of that crap. Now, the colors that I'll be using for this are the same colors you see for the rat, which is green, and yellow for the cheese, and a lime green for the nose, if you can see that, if you can't. Or if you actually have the figurine in this color scheme, then look closely. Okay, enough jibber jabber, let's get on the sketch. Now, for the basic body, we're going to go ahead and sketch a little oval, or uh, picture it as a egg. That's what you want to do for that. So the main body is the egg, and make sure you erase any unneeded and unnecessary sketch marks that will pop up and really make the drawing not look as professional as you're trying to make it. So yeah, it's basically just like an egg shape. Now right here, we're going to draw his little feet, we're going to sketch out his little feet, but for now, we're just going to be little unneat circles. We're going to go to the sketch. These are going to be his legs. And these are going to be his little arms. But like I said, do not put too much detail into this because of course it is the sketch. Therefore, we're just going to get the basic outlook and basic image of what the character will look like and try to break it down in a simple form. Now right here, just make a little square or a round oval because this is going to indicate our cheese. Okay? Now if you got that down, but if you're still um, a little bit uh, not too sure, then watch the video again. Now, for the rat's head, I'm going to do an oval. It's going to be like a sideways oval. Like so. Now, on this oval, we're just, these are going to be his ears, of course. This is going to be his little muzzle, which the muzzle will not be... Now, it does look like a cat but we're trying to push this as a mouse. Go ahead and put a Now it kind of looks like a, a squirrel, but once we put some detail into it, we will... It'll look like the actual trashy figurine. Just put little shapes to indicate the eyes. Okay, now that's basically it for the sketch portion. So, just a little view of it. Very simple, very basic, nothing much else. So, let's get started with the detailing. Now, of course, like I said before, erase any n unnecessary pencil marks, sketch marks, erase your sketch marks. You always want to remember that because you don't, because when you're sketching out a picture, you don't want jagged and unneat lines in your drawing, in your in the finish drawing, because of course it'll be the finished image. Now, for his little feet, I'm just going to draw him a little bit of toes, which are just little bumps. And do the same with this. Now, of course, we're going to do the coloring, which I always color. I outline my trashies with 
Sharpie and then erase the pencil lines. The drawing will be there, of course, because it'll be outlined with Sharpie. And you can't erase Sharpie. And another thing, be careful. You want to be careful with Sharpie. Just in case, you know, you don't want to go too fast with it, okay? But that's not until later, so I probably should shut up about that and continue with this, what I'm doing right here. And of course, you want to make the legs roundish, a little bit round, because his legs are in a bent position, because he is benting, he's bent down eating a block of cheese or a cube of cheese, however you want to put it. Okay, so basically just like that, now it looks like a cat, but like I said, just ignore that factor, we'll get into more detail later. Now for the hands, erase your pencil marks, like I told you. Now right here, we want to make him his little fingers, even though that rats don't, oh yeah, the rats do have fingers. Just draw a little cartoonish fingers right there. Now this is going to be a little bit higher. And instead of drawing all the fingers, it's just going to be like a little hand puppet kind of thing, kind of ordeal. So that's basically it, what you want to do for that. Okay. Now for the cheese, which I love cheese. If you don't, then I hate you. I'm just kidding, guys. I don't hate you guys. Okay. Now whatever. Uh, so for the cheese, if you cheat, uh, if you see in like in cartoons, cheese will have like little circles in them, and also Swiss cheese does too. But this is uh, this is yellow, so it's like a cheddar kind of cheese, or American style cheese, but it has holes in it, so, uh, little circles, just make little circles, now of course, some of this cheese is a little bit fondue-ish, it's like fondue cheese, because it's dripping down on smelly mouse's right foot, or paw. And of course, it's all gooey, you know, gooey spots. It's kind of like slime, but instead of slime, of course, it's, it's it's melted cheese. Now, of course, just make circles everywhere. You don't have to completely follow the circle layout that I'm doing. Put your circles anywhere. Okay, now, just making his arms a little bit chubbier. Now, clean up what you have so far, clean up any messy marks, as I'm doing right now, and don't worry, I'll make it more clean when you outline it in Sharpie, as I will demonstrate further on into the video. Okay, now, once we got that out of the way, we are going to the teeth. Now, for his buck little tooth right here, draw a line in the middle, in the center right there. Pretty basic. Very easy. Now, he's going to have, he's going to have a smile because this little guy snuck uh, himself a cube of cheese. So, draw him very happy. A little cheek smile right there. If you don't know what cheek smile is, that is a cheek smile, boys and girls. Okay. Now for the muzzle. Just draw a basic, just like... I can't really explain it, but that's the shape that you want to do. Now just draw a little oval. 
little round oval to indicate the nose. Okay, now we're going to draw a little flattish hillside or little land. Picture those of a hill that's round but not too like it's like flattish. Now right here you want to make some jelly beans. This will also be for his eyes. Make some little jelly beans or kidney beans. Look at kidney beans or any kind of jelly bean. These look more like kidney beans. So that's going to be my analogy. Okay, now make some dots for pupils. Now, this might not be a uh, pupil layout, and I might not be as accurate because both pupils are pointing upwards. But I kind of like to do a do a funny way by having him a little bit cross-eyed. But like I said, totally up to you. You don't have to go um, by, uh, by everything, you know. But you know, you don't have to go. You don't have to restrict yourself by doing exactly what I'll do. You know, try to uh, mix it up a little. Just do not stray away from the likeness of whatever you're drawing. Because the likeness of whatever, whether it's like a vehicle, a car, food, food doesn't really have a likeness, um, or whatever, celebrities, importantly, celebrities, yes, because they do have a likeness. And uh, some, somewhere in my channel I'll do portraits, but I'm still thinking that as I go along. But if you guys are interested in me doing portraits, I can teach you how to do them. But of course they'll be they will be really long, but I'll try to make them shorter by editing and not trying and not leaving out important vital parts. Okay. So this is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and make my block of cheese a little bit taller my rat teeth or tooth a little bit longer okay now for the big ears just make an ear make a little loop do the same thing with this Actually, I uh, recommend doing it much bigger. Okay. So guys, you can go ahead and click off this video if you don't want to color. If you just want to leave it as a sketch, like I said, totally up to you. But go ahead and click off the video if you don't want to do uh, the coloring, or if you're curious what the drawing will look like if colored, then keep, stay tuned. Okay. Now, that we got this little guy in the way, now I'm going to draw his little uh, rat tail, even though it's not really, the figurine is not showing it, it's actually behind him, if you can see that. But I'm going to just draw it outwards. Now, it's just like a, it's just like a question mark. Just a little qu question mark, that's basically what it is. Like a little, bas uh, just a question mark, and it's sharp at the end, make a sharp point at the end. Okay. So guys, that's basically it for the sketch part. Of course, I will be doing a close-up in a minute here. Now, you, you'll see me 
touch up, like go back and forth, that's because I'm tweaking it. You know, I'm going back and forth trying to fix some lines that are really messy and I think that should be eliminated from the drawing itself and try to keep it accurate to the trashy figurine right here. Okay, so I apologize for that, but honestly, that's what you do. I mean, you will. Any, every good artist a race, okay, guys? So don't get discouraged if you erase a lot. That's okay. Um, maybe you'll get it, uh, break the habit of that, but really, I don't consider it as a habit. I consider it, you know, as a perfection kind of ordeal. You want to make your drawing perfect, which is impossible to do because you cannot, nobody is perfect. Okay, so that's basically it for the sketch of Smelly Mouse right here. Now, of course, when I can't come back, you'll see that will be outlined in Sharpie, and we will continue this drawing tutorial with the coloring. See ya! Okay guys, let's get started with the coloring. Now, like I said, you want to erase the pencil marks after you outline with Sharpie. Of course, add a layer of green or, what, or whatever color you're going to use for the body. Color around everywhere that you will see that needs to be colored on the trashy figurine. If that makes any sense, I hope so. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you stay within the lines, don't mark any eyes, you don't, you don't want to do that, okay? Now we're doing the shading which just shade the left side and of course the bottom of the feet shade the left side only okay now of course you want to add a darker layer to the rest of the body so it's not too light or too dark of course you want to save that for the left side and of course darken the inner part of the ears darken around the face and that's basically what you want to do there okay now I'm using a fusion color of yellow and orange for the cheese. Of course, I made some bugs and some cheese spots around it, and then I'm darkening my shading, which you want to do as well. Okay, now I'm using pink for the tail, now for the pencil shading for the eyes. Okay, guys, so here it is the finished drawing of Smelly Mouse. This is what it's supposed to look like. Very nice. Now, of course, like in every trashy video, we'll do a little comparison with the actual figurine compared to the sketch drawing. Pretty accurate, I have to say. Now, of course, it's not exactly like it, you know, but, uh, yeah, I think we did a really good likeness for that. So, guys, if you want to see more videos just like this one, you know what to do. S uh, smash that like button and smash that comment button. That doesn't make any sense. Sorry. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. There will be more trashy videos. So. That's pretty much it. I am Mark Chicken 101 signing off once again. See y'all.